Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Plague Tale Requiem blind playthrough. And in the last episode we met a pirate lady called Sophia. And with the help of her and uh, Arno, hopefully we will be able to get a... Uh, Arno claims that he can help us get to... Uh, the island that Hugo is dreaming of. I am not so sure he can. Because I don't entirely trust him. I could be wrong. But I doubt it. But as of now we are trying to get to Arnold's boat. Or Sophia's boat technically. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> the first people who lived here, even Big hands. The, the first people. We should keep going. Wait. Just a bit. It's beautiful. It is. It makes me want to cry. But I don't know why. Just remember it. Come. Yes. Okay, new souvenir. The first men. So that was all that was in here. <laughs> well, at least that's good because I I'm probably gonna platinum this game. And uh, the more collectibles I stumble across on my first playthrough, the less collectibles I have to <laughs> hunt down going through a second time going for the platinum because I have no illusion of getting the platinum on my first run. And I would say the enemy density of this game for being like France in 13, was it 1349? They seem to have seem to have had a real population boom <laughs> around there because there are so many soldiers in every every instance like how how does the army afford to feed them all now I am a bit lost <laughs> Because I have to be the luckiest bastard ever. Because <laughs> that was that was definitely the game just taking pity on me. Uh, let's see. Question, can we take him out without alerting anyone? In this game it feels like you can never ever kill an enemy and simply just get away with it. There always has to be like 15 people seeing the deed and coming to find out what the hell is going on. Ah, 
Um. Well, apparently Arnaud remembered to bring his invisibility cloak. <laughs> Oops. And here goes nothing. Tried to make a run for it. Not quite sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> or if I can even make it out of this alive because I pulled something down and. Shit. Fuck. <sighs> okay. No one's the wiser at this point. So that is just a chest with stuff in it. I need to get to the lighthouse. It seems. And the thing is, I have no idea how to get there. Perhaps this way? So annoying. Because <laughs> that is the thing with this game. The areas are very large. And they're... As I said, there are so many enemies. And it's absolutely impossible to take someone out without three other people seeing it. But they seem to be doing alright this time, so I'm gonna stop complaining. Let's see. This fish. This is, just so we're clear on this, I am basically just winging it. Because I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Because he said we were going through the lighthouse. And this must be the lighthouse. Could this be it? This apparently isn't where the boat is. Where is the boat? <laughs> But we're doing okay. Quite stealthy. Not entirely. There, there have been not really pacifistic. <laughs> but we might 
I might be able to salvage this. Kick his ass. There we go. <laughs> and uh, anyone looking for the <laughs> to this for guidance how to get through this I'm sorry okay <laughs> he's heading over that way so we can sneak over here I'm guessing I'm just gonna go for broke. Because Brutus seems like the only one you don't wanna mess with. Can we perhaps? We cannot ask Arnold to take him out. That might be a problem. Uh, this is most definitely a problem. Do I Ooh, I have pots. It's okay. No, don't you fucking dare. Thing is, this is one of those annoying checkpoints because I don't know at this point who's alive, who's dead, who's still around, who's run off to mama, who's out eating a baguette. <laughs> uh, let's sweep the area. One guy over there, is that Brutus? That is Brutus. So Brutus's armor needs to go. And what was it? Was it a tar pot I threw at him? During the boss fight? Yes it was. That is <laughs> that is so brutal. I love it. Now let's see, what was the thing with this?
That just pulls down a chest, so... Okay, some resin, which is a good thing. Wow! That dude was really flammable. Okay, I'm willing to say that was definitely not my proudest moment. Yes. This That was just painful, going through that combat sequence. <laughs> Hugo. I can take him. Get some rest. It will be fine. We'll be just there. Set the rats on him if he's not nice. Yes. Don't be so happy when she says things like that. <laughs> well, Amicia actually deserves a break because she is being going through hell and back. And then to hell once again, <laughs> I would say. Same thing could be said about you. Are you right? No. We just met, and I already owe you. <laughs> you don't owe me anything. You don't make the rules. Fine, we can be friends if that helps. Let's try. But you'll end up wanting to kill me too. Okay, so... Caught your breath yet? Ready to go? Almost. Just changes. gonna see if I can... Nope. I have enough tools, not enough materials. Well, that was a bit disappointing, and I guess there are no materials in here to be found either. No. Okay, so Amicia and Sophia. So, that's the rest gas, right? The one and only. I hope they didn't ruin it. Well, as long as it still floats. <laughs> I would say that's a win. And uh, let's see. I need to be better at like using my materials. Oh no. Where's Hugo? I'm here. Cuz this is gonna sound really pretentious, but I'm so used to like playing on maximum difficulties in types of game, games like this because this is actually reminds me a little bit about The Last of Us. But I have a tendency to always like try to save any everything and anything. But usually, when you play on normal difficulty, the, the game will give you. Dear God. Uh, the game usually gives you quite a lot of resources, so you should never end up in a situation. Maybe. That looks like something we can hit. Yes, Arno, please stand in the way. There we go. go. 
By all means, Arno, I'll lead the way. Do all the heavy lifting, humongous soldier man, and I, the 15 year old <laughs> girl, will help your ass out since you apparently can't do shit yourself. Oh, that's annoying. Arno, I need a hand. That's my job. We're almost there. <laughs> Your brother will soon see Lacoon. I hope he will. Yeah, come on. Let's pull this anchor up and set sail. He likes you, so you should know. Hugo's dying. What? His blood is poisoned. If there's a remedy, it's on that island. Then let's make sure he gets there. Oh, he will. Wow. <laughs> so much for subtlety. Just, hello, Mr. Guy that I've known for five minutes who tried to kill me the first time we met. Uh, my brother is dying. Just... <laughs> Just as a friendly reminder... Yes. Ahoy, mateys! He. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> shit about boats. <laughs> that is something I've said before. Uh, let's see. Hoist the mainsail. How do you hoist a mainsail? Is there right. like I'll take uh, the other one. Port side. Oh, oh, I know that one. That's starboard side. That's for us who aren't sea people. Uh, starboard is right, and port side is left. I have no idea why they can't say left and right. If you know, please let me know in the comments if there is something sailors made up. Kinda. Let's see. That rope is going up there, so smooth. This is not it. How do I cut the sail? Of course, I do it via sling. I'm guessing I have to be on the boat to do it, so <laughs> we don't have one of those situations where... No? I think I have to get off the boat to do it, because... There we go. Awesome. And is that perhaps the end of chapter 7?
<laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> Trophy, Felons, Chapter 8, The Sea of Promises. That sounds a bit like Bloodstained. And not Bloodstained... Uh, the like 8, 16-bit versions I did blind playthroughs of. Uh, but Nothing Ritual of the Night that was released for PlayStation 4. Uh, let's see, is this going to be one of those narration heavy things? Yes, it would take more than that. It survived Spain, Burgundy, Guienne. Well, barely that time. That's where it broke? Yes. The only time it failed to protect. You? No. Someone I shared my coat of arms with. Oh. Ah. I, I see. It's a sad memory to keep then. Some memories don't want to be let go of, child. I think I know what you mean. Hey, you two! The sail's pulling port side. I need a hand. Go pull the rope on the other side. I'll give you some slack on mine. Understood. Yeah, well, this episode is running on overtime, so I'm going to end it right here. But I want to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman, signing off.